My name is Jakob Liedl, I'm a product engineer at Leica Geosystems and I'm heavily involved in the development of Cyclone Field 360. I'm here today to talk to you about um, Cyclone Field 360 and its role in the uh, Leica Geosystems reality capture or rather uh, laser scanning workflow. Now, typically when we speak of Cyclone Field 360 we talk about view, check and add. And I want to show you what we mean by that. By view, you see already here, I have, a pro I have a project where my data is synced from the laser scanner directly to the tablet. Now what we can do is we can, we can view our data directly in the, in, a, in the map view, but we can also now switch to a 360 view, which is basically a view from the, from the point uh, where the scan was taken. And we can also, and we are very proud of this one, have a full 3D representation of the point cloud. Now, let me move on directly to the, to the check functionality. So, what can we check? Well, since we have a full point cloud, we can actually check where we have spots that aren't covered that well with our laser scanner. Therefore, we know if we need to make another um, standpoint. Meaning that when we go back to the, to the office and only realize it there, it will take us a lot of time to, to go out and we lose efficiency and also money in the field. And then the third part is add. So what can we add? We can actually uh, use the camera of these devices to add, for example, a picture. So if I'm interested in something more, more detailed behind the camera, I could, I could use the tablet uh, and attach this directly to a point in my scan. All of this data is synchronized back to the scanner and from the scanner um, we can then um, move it on to the, to the office part. Now there's one more thing that I want to mention in particular, that's the pre-registration. So we, we can use our, scan, uh, our tablet to, to select our scans that we want to align and then we'll see in two different colors how the scans um, are aligned. And if we go to the 3D view, we see now, well, maybe there's a little bit, uh, there's a little bit that we need, still need to do and we can run ICP directly on these point clouds. So if I hit optimize here, you'll notice that the, that the point cloud snaps to the other one. Now we can create a link and these two setups are now locked in place and again this uh, data is transferred back to the scanner. Meaning that if we go to the office then with the, um, with the, with the pre-aligned data from the field, the office already has a quite a good idea uh, where these scans should be and can run the registration with minimal input from the, from the user. Now, we are releasing a new version in um, October and I want to give you a little sneak preview on, on what's to come there. So first of all, we have a new scanner that doesn't have the, the WIS cameras and this obviously is fully supported in the, in the Field360 workflow. Secondly, we have, a, we have the uh, BLK support as well uh, integrated in the app and the BLK now takes, uh, takes infrared images that we can now display right uh, within the field to, um, to make sure that we don't have any isolation breaches or hotspots um, within our, uh, the object that we're scanning. Now, there is one more thing, and this is one we are particularly proud of. Everything that I just showed you now, all of these features now run uh, on a smartphone version of the app. So you see here I have an Android S9 um, smartphone, which now has the capability to fully run this run, run Cyclone Field 360. So it's not only a start-stop or remote, but it's a full-blown version of the app and you can use all, these, all the features. Now we believe that by supporting more and more of our scanners with Cyclone Field 360, by making little adjustments to ensure that the workflow runs smoothly, and by having all of it run on your smartphone, we are truly placing reality capture in the palm of your hands.